Hello everyone, this is Wen Zhang. I'm an assistant professor at Baylor University. I want to thank the committee for selecting us as one of the finalists for the Service Science Best Cluster Paper Competition. The topic is Does the seller's response time affect the buyer's concession? Evidence from eBay Online Burgundy. It's a joint work with Guihua Wang at UT Dallas. Our study focuses on eBay's best offer Burgundy. This is an example of a typical best offer listing. As we can see here, currently the seller is asking for $300 for this painting. Instead of paying $300 US dollars directly, we can click this button make offer to initiate a sequential bargaining. To demonstrate the process, we assume in round zero, a seller lists an item for $300. In round one, a buyer offers $150. In round two, the seller counters at $250, and the buyer counters again until it is round six. Round six is the final round that eBay allows for bargaining. In that round, the seller can only choose either to accept or reject the offer. We wanted to know how does the seller's response time impact the buyer's concession. We define the seller's response time as the time difference between the seller receives an offer and sends out a counter offer. We define the buyer's concession as the difference between two buyer offers over the old buyer offer. In this example, it is 200 minus 150 over 150. Our research question is how does the seller's response time affect the buyer's concession? We also care about whether the effect is heterogeneous. And finally, we wanted to know how much does the buyer's concession increase in offer prices if the sellers respond according to the optimal response time. We obtain a huge data set from eBay's best offer platform. This is our main model. We include both the linear term and the quadratic term of the seller's response time to capture potential nonlinear effect. To address potential endogeneity issues, we use the seller's response time in the previous bargaining with a different seller to construct two IVs. We also control for a large number of bargaining features, buyer features, and features. We include the time fix effects. We use the seller fix effect model. As we can see here, the model is quite complicated. And therefore, to study heterogeneous treatment effects, traditional parametric methods can quite easily run into problems. And therefore, we develop our own machine learning method. We call it a Multiple Treatment Instrument Variable Forest. For short, it's MTFAF. Here I want to emphasize that although in our empirical setting there are only two treatments, this method can apply to more than two treatments. The result from the average treatment effect shows that both the linear term and the quadratic term are significant at the 5% significance level. That shows indeed the response time effect is non-linear. Here we plot out the effect. On the x is the seller's response time, the y is the buyer's concession. As we can see here, as the seller delays is responding, the buyer's concession increases until reaching the tipping point, after which further delay and decrease the buyer's concession. And based on that, we are able to compute the best response time, which is 16.8 hours. Using the MTFAF approach, we are able to get the observational level estimations of treatment effects. Here to demonstrate the observational level, we randomly pick eight observations. Once we have the observational level estimations of treatment effects, we are able to aggregate for each category. And we can see that the treatment effects indeed are heterogeneous across different atom categories. The treatment effects are also heterogeneous across different atom conditions. Using the observational level estimations, we are able to compute the best response time for each observation. And therefore, we can compute the potential increase in buyer's offer price using our MTFAF. We also include 
uh, to use the best response time derived from the results of average treatment effect analysis as a benchmark, as we can see here for each atom category. Uh, using both methods, we can achieve uh, increase in buyer's offer price, but MTMV app can achieve higher increase. The results uh, in atom conditions are similar. Finally, to summarize, we discovered a nonlinear relationship between the seller's response time and the buyer's concession. And also, we developed a machine learning method, MTAV app, to estimate the observational level heterogeneous effect of multiple treatments with endogeneity issues. And uh, finally, our result can provide practical guidance on managing response time for online marketplace sellers. Thank you.